How's it going? Whip from Wits and Media here. And today, do you guys want to see how to do this transition DaVinci Resolve? Well then, let me show you. So we're in DaVinci Resolve. Before we get a little bit further, I do need to mention, in order to do this effect, you do need to shoot your camera right. So in order to do it, as you can see here when I'm going, you need to cover the full frame, top to bottom of the camera, left to right. So that it covers everything in order to make this transition work. But without further ado, um, all we need to do is let's get to the part where I need to go. Start right here and let's jump into the fusion page. All right, so we're in fusion. Um, the first, so in order to do this effect, we're going to need to grab the polygon tool. And from here, let's just draw a really big box around um, the subject and make sure this orange dot is clicked on. That's what's going to give us the animation. And let's back up a few frames. I'm clicking on here, clicking the down arrow. And this is where I want to start because right here is where I'm wanting to cut off the mask so you can see right behind here. So from here, let's just grab our polygon tool. And if we just click on these red lines, it'll create new nodes. So let's do that. And then go over here and cl click up arrow once. So we're going up a single frame. And then we're going to mask it again. And this process is a little tedious. I'm not going to lie. It will take some time. But in order to do this a lot easier, I find just um, doing fast movements makes it a whole lot easier so you have less frames to track. From here, I have my head coming in now. So I'm going to make sure to get all the way up here. So you need to look at your whole mask when you're doing these because you don't want to accidentally cut off part of it and also this is a little tricky I have my hand right here so I'm gonna have to go in and then back out it doesn't have to be perfect though I mean I could probably spend like five hours just doing this one um, transition but we're gonna end up adding a soft edge which is right here and it's just gonna smooth this out and th so there's no point in spending some time plus I mean, in the footage, I move pretty fast, so it's a fast transition, so people aren't going to be sitting here looking at every single frame, judging whether or not it is perfect or not. As long as it looks seamless, it is seamless. So we're just going to keep tracking this and moving along each frame, and I'm just going to finish this off, and I'll see you guys back here in a second. Alrighty, so we're done with our mask, and if we look from beginning to end, this is what it looks like. A um, little bit laggy, but comes, ah, I need to actually change that. Um, just, I just realized when you start with your first, before you even start with the mask, you need to make sure that it's not covering anything before. So I'm just gonna take all these nodes and move them back. So then they're gone and then they come in and they just track me each frame and until I'm off the image. And on the last one, I usually push the mask a little bit extra out just for it doesn't have any blur in there. But from here, we're gonna take our polygon and connect it to our media in. Right now, it's just checkerboard, meaning this is all transparent, which is good. And let's just go to the middle. And if we just click on media one, we can see this looks really bad at first because it's all um, sharp and all that. And to fix that, we're going to click on our polygon tool and let's just soften the edge a little bit. And now if we look at our media one, it looks much better. So now it just goes from one end to the other, slowly wiping it. And that's it. So if we go back to our edit page, oh shoot, what is that? No, 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 no. <laughs> so now we can see I slowly wipe across and to make this even better what I like to do is actually raise this well you know, this is what you should is bring this up and then bring your other clip in before so I start the transition right about goodness where to start right here so I'm even going to go a little bit before that, bring in my clip, and even though I start talking this clip, it's going to be fine. And then as this wipes across, 
the other comes, and then that's how you do it. So it's pretty simple. I think the only thing about this is that it is very time consuming, but I also did it with a person. If you did this with like a wall where you just put the camera and you walked in front of the wall, that'd be easy because it's just a flat surface. Well, and here you can see that there is a lot going on, but I mean, it just takes time. And with a wall, you could probably keyframe it. I mean, this is keyframing, but you could do less keyframes, so you probably wouldn't have to do each single frame. You could just do one to the end. But since this is a person and I'm moving while I'm doing it, and, and it honestly will always look better if you do it each frame. So that's it. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button, like the video, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.